Welcome to Guy Time, fellas. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jamal Harris, and we're here today in Bloomfield at the Thomas Hooker Brewery, owned by my man, Kurt. We're going to get into some great beer, some great conversation. There's a lot of things going on here in this area, so we're definitely going to discuss that. Also, a great Christmas gift idea if you're looking for a gift for your father, your brother, your coworker, so you want to stay tuned, as well as some great food, some great people, and good conversation. So sit back. Don't turn that dial as we get the show on the road. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Guy Time. Thanks for tuning in. Now, fellas, what better place to spend the weekend than at a brewery? That's why I'm here at the Thomas Hooker Brewery with my man, Kurt, owner. How's it going? Fantastic. You How are, you doing? are you excited? I'm excited. I'm very excited because right now on TV right now, I'm making an official Guy Time law. Guys, whenever you're driving through Bluefield, you must stop here and try a beer. It's an official. It's, I'm making it an official guy time rule. How do you feel about that? I, I'm honored. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you are. I'm glad you are. So now we have four great, incredible beers in front of us. Why don't you um, walk us through it and tell us what we have? Sure. Well, majority are IPAs, but I threw one sort of uh, uh, other thing in the mix here. Okay. Let's start with sort of our flagship beer. Sure. That's Let's our that. um, hashtag no filter. It's no filter. A, okay. A New England IPA or a hazy IPA. Okay. It's about six and a half percent alcohol. Nice. Um, very sort of floral. So okay. um, yeah, let's give it a yeah, try. Let's give it a try. Mm. So this beer is Ooh, made. Yeah. Yeah. This beer is made with um, Citra and Mosaic hops. Nice. Yeah. Which are hard hard to get these days, okay. but um, well worth it. Yeah. Well, worth the cost. I mean, it's it is uh, nice and it also, it's also clean too. Yeah. It, yeah. It uh, doesn't. It's not too bitter, but it, it gives a nice subtle overtone to the to the IPA flavor. And that's one of the things that people you know sometimes people say, hey, I, I don't really like the bitterness of IPAs. Right. It's like, well, these are not bitter. They're, right. they're a lot of hops, more hops than just about any other beer we make, but. Yeah. It's all in the uh, in the dry hopping, so it's all aroma. It's oh, not bitterness. Nice. Woo. Yeah, that's what we got next. So this, this is something. Is yeah, this is from our pulped series. Yeah. So this is a style called the Berliner Weiss. Okay. It's a little bit tart, a little bit sour. Um, that's on purpose. Right. And then we add about 1,500 pounds of, in this one, boysenberry. But we've Ooh. made raspberry, boysenberry, peach, um, and uh, yeah. So nice. Give it a try. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, woo. And, that, so, I get you right here. Yeah. Yes. And that's uh, you know, that's a mm. great beer for the summertime. Yeah. All, really all year round, but um, really mm. popular in the summer because it's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. A little bit lower in alcohol, but just a, a, a great refreshing beer. Nice. What's the uh, alcohol content on this one? That one is in the high fives. Okay. That's yeah. not bad. No, not too bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, you could, that's beer you can sip on while you're watching the game or something like that. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. nice. Great. What we got next? What's the number three? Next this is, is a brand new beer for us, another IPA. Oh, wow. Um, it's something called Citrillo. Nice. So Citrillo uh, really stands for uh, Citra and Amarillo, which are the two prevalent hops in it. Okay. And uh, this one's a little mm. bit less in alcohol, but uh, doesn't uh, doesn't disappoint in the aroma or flavor. Mm. Wow. Yeah. One, one of the things we tried doing with this is adding a little bit more bitterness. So a lot of these New England style IPAs mm -hmm. are very um, are very soft on the mouthfeel. Yeah. This one has a little bit more punch to it. A, a little bit yes. more bitterness. To yes, it. I like it. So that's uh, mm -hmm. but a brand new one that'll be coming out uh, actually this week. This, fellas, you better look for it right now. I'm telling you right now, this is great. Wow, okay. Now what we got going on here? Uh, the last, last one. one is another one of our flagships, Super Duper Double Citra. Yes. This one's got a little bit more um, alcohol percentage. Okay. This is, uh, this is right around the eight, the eight mark. Well, oh, it's nice strong. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> but the, the, the scary part is you won't taste it, right? Really? So, okay, well, this one we got to cheers to. Okay, we got to cheers to this one. <laughs> I always tell people, don't operate any heavy machinery after you've had a couple of these. Nice, okay. Mm. Mm. 100% uh, Citra. Nice. And a lot of it. And um, again, you know, different enough from the, uh, the hashtag no filter. And uh, a lot of people just love it. And they kind of like the sort of retro look of the can. Yes, so. this is um, great beers. And are these like the top four? I mean, this is one, this one's the newest one. Right? Brand but new. 
Are these are like the more, more of the popular side? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, these and these are exciting and they're new and, and you know, we have a lot of beers that we've made since our beginning, like Blonde Ales, which okay. people love and it's one of our big sellers, but this is the sort of exciting stuff that people are looking for. Nice, nice. Now, tell us a little bit briefly about the company and how you built such a great following. Sure, well, yeah. we're, we're one of the old guys, right? right? So this company has been around in various iterations since 96. Okay. Gone through a couple different series of owners. It was originally the uh, Troutbrook Brew Pub. Right. Um, the next owner changed it to Thomas Hooker Brewing. We took it over in 06, moved it to this facility in 07, and yeah. it had a nice sort of steady growth path ever since. Nice, nice. Now, what does it take to be a great business owner? I'm actually first, like, man to man, man to, with the fellas, talk to us. What does it take? Well, I think first off, you gotta enjoy what you do, right? Absolutely. Right, yeah, so, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm a software guy by trade and uh, okay. got into this business, you know, 13, 14 years ago. And yeah, uh, yeah it's just gratifying to see a brand grow like ours has grown. Okay. So, uh, you know, I don't know that there's any particular secret, it's typically, and, and, and especially in craft beer, right? Because right. talk about a market that's changed immensely. So, and it's so over, well, it got to a point where it got so over flooded. And right? you see a lot of acquisitions, a lot of people falling out. Sure. And you see a local brewery like yourself grow consistently thank you it has a great yeah. following I mean that, that, that that's a testament to who you are Thanks. what you've done here at, with the product so. yeah well and, and you know we're proud of not only the beer that we put out yeah but of sort of the, the social mission that the, that the company has as well I think right. we had we had talked about uh, you know we have a, a dog rescue as part of our facility okay. which we'll talk about hold on okay wait you What's going on over there now? So, uh, as part of our expansion, right. um, we had this 12,000 square foot building. We right. bought a 30,000 square foot building next door. Right next door. Okay. Which is packaging, warehousing, and yeah. our, our workshops. Um, 6,000 of it's a dog rescue. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, I think it's uh, two things that go pretty well together, right? So, uh, we, we love it when people bring their dogs here and right. hang out on the patio. Um, the next thing was, you know, how do we support sort of, you know, that, that that pet, you know, the pet thing, right? right? Which everybody is into right now. Of course. So we had somebody who was very close to us come to us and say, hey, we'd like to open up a dog rescue wow. and we'd like to do it in your facility. And we thought, that's pretty cool, right? Wow, yeah. So we're gonna be developing programs where not only can you come and adopt a dog, but you can also bring your dog, yeah. hang out, the dogs can play together, you can have a beer, and uh, yeah, oh. kind of a couple oh. things that are, they go well together, this right? Is, I'm telling you, fellas, from man's best friend to man's best drink. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> Come down here to Bloomfield, you will not be disappointed. Come see my man, Kurt, pet some dogs. Kurt, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. My pleasure. We'll be my right pleasure. back after this. Guy time. Pizzeria Da Vinci is your game day stop for authentic Italian thin crust pizza. Pizzeria Da Vinci uses the highest quality ingredients, so every bite will be your best bite. Need more options? Pizzeria Da Vinci has awesome wings, loaded grinders, and fresh salads. Come dine in or pick up to go. With seven locations throughout the state, you're not too far from a location near you. Pizzeria Da Vinci, the official pizzeria of Guy Town. Fellas, Christmas is coming soon. And if you're looking for that perfect gift for a coworker, relative, or even yourself, look no further than a great cigar. That's why I'm here at Bongo Ron's in Old Saybrook. Let's go inside. And we are here at Bongo Ron's. I'm here with the lovely Andrea to tell us a little bit more about this fantastic gift for uh, our guys here. Andrea, what is going on here? This gift box looks amazing. Thank Tell us about you. it. Got it. So this is one of our custom made gift boxes. Sure. When we have customers who come in looking for a gift for the holidays, okay. we help them pick certain cigars for the person they're gifting it to. Sure. Um, if they have a preference for cigars, we'll put those cigars in okay. and we put it all together in a nice package. Nice. We um, recycle and reuse our boxes because okay. they're all so beautiful. Um, so this particular package retails at about $75. Okay. So it's got four premium cigars nice. in it. Nice. A Zycar lighter, that's yeah. lifetime warranty. Okay. And a cutter. Nice. Now, guys coming in here and they say, you know what? I don't have 75, but maybe I have 50, or maybe I have 150. Yes. Can you customize this package however the guys Absolutely. want? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We work at all price points, okay. starting from $20 all the way up to about $200. Okay. Now, tell, tell the fellas right now, why is a cigar box, in your mind, your opinion, 
such a great Christmas gift for the holidays. So it's a great gift yes. uh, for a cigar smoker. They can try new product. They can come in and sit in our lounges and okay. smoke the product. Um, we have only the highest quality of cigars. Nice. And we have a lot of hot new products. Nice. I'm telling you, guys, as soon as the show's over, get off the couch. Drive down here and check out this package. I'm telling you right now, go. Christmas is coming. You won't be disappointed. Thank you so much. Honey. Thank you very you much, it. Jamal. You got it. We are at the event lounge space at Bongo Ron's, and I'm here with owner Ron. How's it going? Very good. Oh, Thanks man, so. I'm being excited <laughs> now. What do we have in front of us right now? Tell us. Walk us through it. We have a couple of bourbons. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about pairing bourbons with... Uh, with particular cigars, okay. how they can actually change the taste. Right now, is this something you do here at the at the space regularly? We do. Like, talk about. We do. We okay. do have pairings. We do have uh, some local businesses uh, that come in uh, that uh, assist us in um, what they think would pair well with certain cigars. Okay. And, uh, we sit down with many of our customers and uh, we try pairing it up and see what they think. Great. Okay. Now talk to us. Give us a rundown of what we got here. What we have is, um, we have bourbons, yes. and typically with bourbons, um, we found that the majority of our customers, our clientele, they uh, enjoy a lighter cigar with bourbon, so okay. that they're actually not competing with the flavor of the bourbon, but in actually enhancing it a bit. Smart. Um, instead of competing with it. Okay. We have other people that uh, come in and they do like the competition between the bourbon and a heavier uh, bodied cigar, which this would be a Maduro wrap compared to like a Connecticut wrap that I'm smoking. All okay. right. Um, or a Sumatra wrap, which has a little more flavors than like a medium body. Okay, now, why is Bongo Ron such a great place to guys, for guys to visit? Well, I, I feel for many reasons. Okay. Uh, one, it uh, gets them out of their element uh, that they're in every day. Exactly. And uh, it gets them into a so very social environment. Right. Uh, we have uh, many of our customers that come in, uh, they've never met each other before. They only have nice. one thing in common, and it's a cigar. Perfect. And uh, it doesn't matter whether they're a plumber or an attorney or a doctor, they, uh, they sit and they enjoy. And many times they talk about their cigars, especially when we're doing pairings. Yes. Uh, they'll talk about the bourbons and the cigars. and. Uh, and we're all equals. Beautiful. I mean, you all, all guys from all walks of life come together over one common love of cigars. And it's just amazing how friendships can grow and develop through time just based on, just based on one product. Absolutely. It's, it's amazing. Absolutely. We've had people uh, that have come in that vacation together now. Yeah. They didn't know each other before and they vacation. That's so, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Now, do you have a favorite when it comes to cigars? Do you have a particular favorite or? Uh, um, no, I, I'm very fortunate uh, okay. that I have a major humidor that I can go in and I got can you. experiment okay. with. Okay. Uh, where, you know, many people just because of the expense and, you know, they like to just find that flavor they have and kind of stick with it. I'm, I'm very fortunate that I can, uh, that I can mix it up. Um, I do have a few favorites, uh, but for the most part, I, uh, I go into our humidor and pick many. Beautiful. Now, tell the fellas a little bit about yourself. How'd you get involved? How'd you get started? Um, I've always been to Because you're fairly new. Yeah, you're fairly yes, new at this. I am. I, I, I was a social cigar smoker. Um, we decided, uh, Andrea, my wife and myself decided that, uh, that something like this would, would work uh, very well in, in our area. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, three lounges that are open to the public and our lounges are very islandy, um, very, people are very comfortable sitting in our lounges. They feel okay. that they're on vacation. Yeah. You seem like a very comfortable guy, someone that if you get along with very well, I mean, I that's your personal I mean. That you give you off that personality. You probably ask Andre, and she <laughs> yes. probably tell you I'm not. But, uh, <laughs> but yes, I, I do. I do try to be. Yeah. Uh, and then we have members lounges. Uh, we uh, we have many members. Actually, our member base is growing rapidly. Nice. Um, and then we also have a uh, tiki deck uh, outside. That, okay. Uh, is a three seasons tiki deck for nice. people to enjoy at certain times of the year. And right. I will say that there's also many Good. women that do come in with their really season. absolutely. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, absolutely. That's... And then we also we also have open mic nights, okay. uh, Thursday nights, that uh, we have a lot of people that come in with their husbands or wives and they pick up guitars and, nice. and percussions off the floor and the wall and uh, 
and uh, they play and everybody enjoys it. What more can you ask for? <laughs> Bo Bongo Ranch, I'm telling you right now, you won't be disappointed. We'll be right back after this. Guy time. Thank you. You got it. Pizzeria Da Vinci is your game day stop for authentic Italian thin crust pizza. Pizzeria Da Vinci uses the highest quality ingredients, so every bite will be your best bite. Need more options? Pizzeria Da Vinci has awesome wings, loaded grinders, and fresh salads. Come dine in or pick up to go. With seven locations throughout the state, you're not too far from a location near you. Pizzeria Da Vinci, the official pizzeria of Guy Town. Welcome back to Guy Time. Thank you guys for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. Now, fellas, when was the last time you received an eye exam? I gotta admit, it's been a while since I've had an exam. That's why I'm here at Swan Vision with the Dr. Swan. Doctor, how's it going today? Very well, thank you. Thanks, thanks for coming on this show. Thanks for coming on this show. Now, listen here. Eye health. We gotta talk about it. It's something that, guys, we gotta admit we don't go to we don't really get checked out but tell tell our guys right now what is the importance of getting an eye exam so the purpose of that is to make sure that not only can you see clearly but right. also to make sure the rest of your body is good too okay so the eyes are the only place in the body where you can directly see the blood vessels which means that we can pick up things that you can't necessarily see like cholesterol diabetes, hypertension, and a number of other things as well. Wow, so all of that can be seen through the eye. So talk, walk us through, how often should we go get checked? Typically it's recommended for a year. Uh, okay. To have your eyes examined. Once a year? Once a year. Okay. But the dilation is something that uh, we can look at depending on what the person's risk factors are. But as we get older, the risk factors slightly go up. And okay. That's how we take a look at it. Nice, okay, great. So we got some, frames in front of us right now. Walk us through what we got going on here. So we have a couple of different styles. These are some of the main popular ones people know of. Okay. Ray-Ban, which is uh, kind of the classic one. Yeah. We have Polo as well, uh, but the Etnia Barcelona is a brand that's been very popular in our store. Why is it so popular right now? A couple of things is yeah. that we have some frames, if I were to take this here. Sure. It's a titanium alloy frame. It's very lightweight, okay. better than most frames, and it's also very durable, so you can do lots of different oh, things wow. to it. Oh, wow, nice. And they're very uh, kind of sturdy. Yeah. You also have some of the other ones that have kind of the semi-rimless. Also, some of the other frames have them as well. Okay. They're just different colors and styles too. Nice. So, is there a particular color that guys are going to? Um, so, like, what, what, what do you, what have you seen from the guys? So Typically, far? as far as the men, they usually go to more of the subtle colors of blacks, browns, grays, okay. that type of thing. Nice. Before. So, um, we kind of stick to those kind of color palettes for them. Nice. Now, walk us through who you are as a person, because. We're at Guy Time. We're all about knowing the man behind the business. So tell us a little bit about the business and how you got started. So I'm originally from the West Coast of Canada. Okay. Came down in the States, went to optometry school in Boston. Nice. And that's where I met my wife, who's originally from Boston, from Connecticut. All right, all right. And, nice. Uh, so then we ended up sticking down here. Yeah. Staying close to home. And then once uh, I was at my other practice that I used to work for, okay. started in 2014 in the area. The opportunity came around where I was able to start my own practice and we yeah. decided that was the best time to do it. Uh, or Sorry, 2018 is when we created the business. All right. And that's where we went for it. Nice. So, so what what made you just like, go for it? Like, was it, I mean, is it something you always wanted to do? But what kind of, like, made you decide, all right, this is what I'm going to do. Let's go for it. So I came around at the time we were kind of set up in our lifestyle to be able to be ready for it. And, all right. Uh, we didn't have any children at that point in time. And, nice. Uh, we weren't going to do it then. We <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Definitely, it's a challenge starting cold. Uh, okay. Most places buy out other practices, but we decided to start out fresh. Yeah. And it comes with its own challenges. It's that sort of stuff, but we wanted to bring back that private practice, personal feeling that we get. Right. Which many places, they sometimes people don't feel like it's Right. Safe. Okay, you're talking about the, the small private practice feel. So when a customer walks through the door, what can they expect? from you and from their overall experience? They can expect that they're going to be seeing me when they walk in the front door. Okay. If I'm not uh, within the back of the door. Right, <laughs> okay. I'll be taking them through getting pre-tested, worked up, and nice. then we're going to be going through the exam together and I'll also be most likely coming out and helping them with their glasses. So All right. 
We give people more time than kind of typically allotted, so we give an hour for patients. Oh, nice. Because we're kind of brand new. Okay. Instead of the typical half an hour. Uh, so you're not rushing, just getting people in and out. So you, you're really sitting down, focusing with them, knowing their history, knowing what they're about, and uh, treating them properly. I like to get to know a little bit of my patients as okay. well. So they come back the next year and they kind of can pick up where we left off. And nice. Go from there. I'm, I'm telling you guys, go get checked out next week. Call this man, he'll get you set up, he'll take care of you. You will not be disappointed. Dr. Swan, appreciate you for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, thanks for having We'll be me. right back after this, Sky Time. Pizzeria Da Vinci is your game day stop for authentic Italian thin crust pizza. Pizzeria Da Vinci uses the highest quality ingredients, so every bite will be your best bite. Need more options? Pizzeria Da Vinci has awesome wings, loaded grinders, and fresh salads. Come dine in or pick up to go. With seven locations throughout the state, you're not too far from a location near you. Pizzeria Da Vinci, the official pizzeria of Guy Town. Welcome back to Guy Time. Thanks for tuning in. Now, fellas, the game's about to start in a couple hours, and if you need a go-to pizza spot with some killer pizza, I got the place for you. I'm here with Drew Sassy with the original Pizzeria Da Vinci. Drew, how's it going today? Doing great, thank you. Now, you got seven locations throughout the state, so just for anybody who's living under a rock, tell the people a little bit about the restaurant. So, you know, we're spread out in the state of Connecticut. There's six locations, um, kind of primarily Middlesex County. Okay. And we um, offer thin crust pizza, yeah. salads, calzones, paninis. Um, certain locations offer different items, okay. depending on what the availability. Cool. But um, yeah, we just uh, we we cater to kind of to the neighborhood areas. Yeah. Um, where the people uh, we know all the families and such. Yes. Great local spot, and here we got two incredibly popular pizza dishes here. What do we have here? So right here, let's start with this one. Yeah, this, this one looks good. This is our chicken Smells bacon ranch. Great. It um it it, it kind of started with our grinder. Okay. And people wanted the option of having uh, the same flavors without all the bread. Okay. So we put it on a pizza. And nice. Probably one of the biggest sellers. Oh man. So what do you get when you taste it? When you bite into this thing, what do you, you get? You just get pretty much everything. I mean, the cheese is we use a, it was a cheddar jack cheese. So you have a nice okay. bite of the cheddar. The, the bacon Gosh. is a smoky. The chicken's savory, and then the. The ranch filler, who doesn't like ranch? Oh, so, um, that's yeah, that's, that's very popular. Oh, that's going to be good stuff. Uh, what do we have here? This Let me know this. This is a sweet chicken chili. All right. Um, I see some broccoli. Yep, you got some chicken on here. Broccoli, what do we got going? Uh, onions, peppers, um, and, and the chicken uh, is, is marinated in a kind of sweet and spicy sauce. Actually, one of our managers invented this and uh, came, made it, came to light, put it in slices, and now it made the menu. So, uh, uh, kudos to him. Nice. Now, Great local spot. So what makes Pizzeria Da Vinci such a great local spot here in the community? Like, what, what is it about you? Yeah, good question. Yeah. So, um, this, in, this location in particular, um, I feel is, is a lot of the workers are all local. Okay, um, nice. Good, um, good we deal. We support all the local the schools. Any, anything local, we, 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 I try to really support them first. Nice. I grew up in this town, uh, in, this, in this region, regional district, so it, it, it just, Many years of, of history here, and, yeah. I, and my uh, family has owned this uh, pizzeria for, for many years too. Nice. So that, that did help. Nice. So you got a great product. You're here locally in the community. I mean, you're a business owner. T tell me, because a lot of people open and closing. What what is your secret sauce in maintaining such a great establishment? Okay, good question. I, I think one of the main, main things is to realize how important the customers are. Um, I always tell the employees that, that I'm not the boss, the, the customers walking through that door are the boss. Nice, okay. That's kind of how I, I perceive things. You know, yeah. I will facilitate things, but without them, we would You're not here, here. right, I, I got you. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Now, challenges, like being a business owner, I know it's hard. I'm sure you guys know it as well. What are some of the challenges that you face as a business owner? Um, 
being consistent. Uh, okay. That's the um, in employees, some staff turnaround sometimes uh, happens with a lot of kids. We start off in high school, got you. college, that makes sense. and this is just a this is a stepping Step stone, stone to get where they want to be. Yeah, so yeah, 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 got you. A lot of uh, employees have passed to excellent and, and it's it's sad to see them go right because they're still loyal they i care about them so much right and and they always come back and, and say hi and such but but to see them go right. and, and flourish their their lifestyle so i understand that yeah but um but that's one thing uh that i have to say and it means a lot training them work ethic that they can take yeah for the rest of your lives right it means a lot yeah definitely now let's talk about some of the the benefits like what do you like most about being a business owner I like the flexibility yeah. um, of kind of call, calling the shots, you yeah. know. Um, okay. You know, and, and having the ability to to rely on on the managers and the workers to do a great job and oversee that. And uh, I have to say, it's 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 been great. It's yeah. been great. Every, everybody's good. I, I I appreciate everybody, all the people that worked here, um, because without them, again, you, without the without the customers and the employees, yeah. it'd be very difficult. Now, so. I'm sure managing a restaurant, managing a business, is time consuming. Now, you have a family. How are you managing the work-life balance? I mean, is it difficult? Is it stressful? I mean, you finding it hard? Like, how, how, like, how are you balancing? So, uh, since I've been married and had a, and had a child, yeah. I realized that there's, there's priorities in life. And what I have to do is pretty much put people in the positions here, managers and such, to require them to do their job and oversee it. And then just know that it's okay. Okay. You know, you, I can't let it get in my mind. When I'm not here, I have to be happy, happily wherever I am. Okay. Um, and just rely. And I'm always there for the, if they ever need me or what. But um, but it's very important that I separate that. Okay. And I realize that as time has gone on. Got gotcha. you. Very important. Got gotcha. you. Okay, now would you... Some of the fellas right now watching might own a business, might be thinking about starting a business. Can you give them just a piece of advice um, about this gratifying um, thing called entrepreneurship? What would, you, what would you tell the fellas? I would say that it's everything hard takes effort, and, and right. nothing in life is going to be easy. Yeah. So there's going to be ups and downs, there's going to be hurdles, but if you always have your eye on the prize and, and never stop focusing on that and just continue working hard and not worry about what people say about you or whatever, right. just focus on yourself and moving forward, you'll end up in a good result. Gotcha. And you can get some great pizza here. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Drew, Pizza Reed Avenci, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back here with more Guy Time. What another great episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'd like to thank all my guests on the show. You guys were great. Fellas, if you have any questions, send me a note. You can reach me at guytimetvct at gmail.com. That's guytimetvct at gmail.com. You can also follow me on the gram. I would love to connect with you guys. Well, until next week, I'll talk to you guys soon. We're out. God bless.